Here are eight tips that you should know about the home buying process. Before we get started, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Okay, so over the course of the past, the real estate market has been absolutely crazy. You've had a lot of buyers get frustrated and get out of the market because they were constantly competing with cash buyers and getting bidded out. Now, fast forward to 2023, the ending of 2022, things started to shift and start to slow down just a little bit. And we're not dealing with multiple offers anymore like we were, right? In 2021, as well as the mid of 2022. Things are starting to slow down a bit. We're noticing some price reductions and homes are staying on the market a lot longer, which is great for a lot of first time home buyers because they're not competing as much with these cash buyers. And best of all, there here are some great tips for first time home buyers to purchase in 2023. Tip number one first and foremost, you must know where you stand financially. You must know what your numbers are, how much money do you have saved, if you have any money saved. You must also make sure you are saving as much as possible. Certain things that you're spending money on that just really wasn't that important, such as subscriptions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, those should definitely be cut off. This is the time for you to budget and save your money for unexpected expenses, down payment, and closing costs. It is extremely important that you're saving as much as possible and if you can work as much as possible so that you can make sure that you are prepared because purchasing a home can be pricey. Tip number two is know your credit. Check your credit score. See if there's anything on there, any negative and erroneous items that needs to be removed. You speak with a credit specialist and see what you can do about that. See what your credit score is. It is extremely important to know what your credit score is and what you have on your credit report in case something in case something hinders you from purchasing a home, such as late payments or anything else that may cost you down the line. So it is extremely important for you to make sure that you know what your credit score is and what's on your credit because certain things may be holding you back and may be causing your credit score to be lower and it may cause a problem such as you getting qualified, interest rates, et cetera, et cetera. So definitely know your credit score and where you stand. Tip number three. Okay, now this is extremely important because you should definitely know or have an idea of what exactly you want. Do you want a single family home? Do you want a town home? Do you want a condo? Because it's important to know what you want and to have an idea of what works best for you, what works best for your family. Are you leaning more towards a single family home with no HOA, not to deal with any restrictions or anything like that? Or are you comfortable with living in a condo and having the condo association handle things such as your roof, et cetera, et cetera. So have an idea of exactly what you're looking for. You know, it'll make the process go a lot more easier so that your brain is not so scattered because the home buying process can definitely be overwhelming at times. And it's extremely important to have an idea of exactly what you're looking for and what works best for you and your family. Tip number four is finding a lender and getting pre-approved. Now, during this, that time frame, you are searching for the right one, someone that can answer your questions, you know, the right loan officer that can better assist you, that answers their phones, break down the whole process so that you don't feel so confused throughout the home buying process. Purchasing a home is already a big deal. It's a huge investment you're making. You want to make sure you're making the right decision throughout the process. So definitely work with someone that can guide you through that. It's extremely important. And having that pre-approval in your hand definitely helps you because once you have that pre-approval in your hand, you're not you're no longer window shopping. You have an idea of what you're pre-approved for, what you're qualified for, and you have a parameter you can work around. You know, you don't want to start looking for a $600,000 home when you're only pre-approved for $420,000. It just sets you up for disappointment, right? So definitely, definitely make sure you get pre-approved by a local lender and make sure you're working with someone that is Definitely answering your questions and answer your phone, especially when you're nervous and have a lot of questions to ask. And that brings me to the next tip, and that's finding a knowledgeable and reputable real estate agent. Now, it's extremely important for 
your real estate agent to also help guide you throughout the whole process. You don't want to work with the real estate agent that's not answering your phone calls, that doesn't understand the market that you're interested in, and that doesn't even know what they're doing. You want someone that's going to fight and negotiate a better deal for your home purchase because someone that doesn't know what they're doing can cost you the deal, they can screw you over. So definitely find someone that is knowledgeable, someone that knows what they're doing, someone that you know, like, and trust because that would help you so much more. You want someone that's gonna guide you and educate you throughout the process as well. So once you have um, a loan officer that you're working with, and a real estate agent that are both providing you with as much information, educating you throughout the process, you definitely feel a lot more at ease and it helps you to feel a lot better throughout the home buying process. And that is what's extremely important because you don't want to feel lost throughout the whole process. And working with someone that can explain just the simplest details or explain why a home inspection is important, as well as the appraisal contingency, et cetera, et cetera, it can just cause a lot of confusion. It's already a confusing situation and it can be very overwhelming to purchase. So it's important for you to have a team around you to help guide you throughout that process. Tip number six, now that you've been pre-approved, you have your agent, now it's time for you to start your search. You know, what area are you interested in? You know, is an A-rated school area more important to you? The location, do you wanna be near restaurants and malls, hospitals, stores, what exactly are you looking for? You know, it's important to have that idea. So as you're doing your search and you're looking at the area, it's important to understand, okay, is this an area that I would wanna live in long-term? You know, what is the neighborhood like in the morning, at night, after hours? You know, is it near your kid's school? Is the location close to work? Is it a single family home that needs to be in a gated community or not? You know, you're doing that search and don't think the first time you start, the first time you go out to look for a home that you're automatically going to find a home that checks all your boxes. Take your time. This is a huge investment that you're making, okay? It's extremely important for you not to rush through this whole process and to really, really go out and search for that home that you're looking for, that home, that condo, or that townhome that checks a lot of your boxes, not necessarily all of it, okay? And tip number seven, once you've done your search, you found a home that you have a little bit of interest in, you've done the research, you've looked at the neighborhood during the day, at night, you know, to give you a better idea, you love the location, and it checks majority of your boxes, now it's time to submit the offer. You reach out to your agent and you ask, okay, hey, I'm ready to submit an offer, you know, what are the comps in the area, what's a reasonable offer that we should offer on this specific property, and your agent can definitely guide you at that point. Now, although things have changed where at this present moment, you no longer really have to submit at asking or above asking like the whole debacle we experienced last year and two years ago, but a lot of sellers are being realistic and understanding they're not going to get $100,000 over asking or $50,000 over asking like they experienced, you know, a year or two ago. So submit your offer reasonable offer. You work with the agent so that they're explaining to you the different terms, the inspection period, appraisal contingency, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. That's extremely important because you want to know, okay, although your agent is keeping an eye out and monitoring your inspection period, whether it's three, seven, 10, 15 days, it's important for you to know too, because then that puts your escrow deposit at risk if you pass the inspection period, the seller can put a claim on that deposit. There are important things for you to keep in mind when you're submitting an offer. It's extremely important to be educated on it. Read the contract. Don't just simply just sign the offer. Read through it and understand and know what you're signing. It, that, I can't stress that enough because you don't want any surprises, especially with choosing you know, an agent who may not know what they're doing. 
and that can put your escrow deposit at risk and you don't want that. So know and understand, review, ask plenty of questions to your agent. And once you're ready to submit that offer and your offer gets accepted, congratulations. That would be, that's such a rewarding feeling, right? Your offer been accepted, but not quite yet. Tip number eight, your offer has been accepted. You have been educated on the process. You understand you're getting the flow of things. Things are heading in the right direction, okay? Now, and you know in your inspection period, start and end, now it's time to schedule your home inspection. Okay, that is important. During the past year or two, it was crazy. A lot of home inspections are being waived and so that buyers can be more competitive versus others. So offers can get accepted. You don't have to do that anymore. Okay, I recommend all of my customers and clients to please, please always, always get a home inspection and never waive it. No matter how knowledgeable you are, you may think you know, always hire a home inspector. It's extremely important. Unless if the buyer is a home inspector, that's a different story, right? But definitely hire one. It's extremely important. It can save you a lot of time and money. And best of all, you never know what may pop up. Some people may say, no, I don't, I don't want to do a home inspection. You can't force them. But I know for me, I'll always advise my customers to get a home inspection because you never know what you may find. And if you waive the home inspection, guess what? You're putting an escrow deposit at risk. Once you waive the home inspection period, you're really just accepting a property for what it is, right? And if you try to pull out a deal, the seller can go ahead and put a claim on that deposit. So very, very important. And plus, you can pull out of the deal during the home inspection period, right? You can pull out a deal for whatever reason. No explanation really needed. You just do it within that time frame and sign a release and cancellation and get your escrow deposit back. If the buyer and seller cannot come to an agreement on something that's found during the inspection, or even if the buyer gets cold feet. Sorry to say, but that happens, right? So please, please, buyers, understand and know this is a huge commitment you're making. This is a huge investment you're making and educate yourself as much as possible and definitely, definitely find a knowledgeable agent, loan officer, lender, a team that can definitely help you make the best decision during the home buying process. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope some of the tips that I provided was very helpful with you on this new journey of purchasing a home. I want to wish you luck and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, this is Wendy Sell South Florida. Peace.